Welcome back to Kyle's Big Board, presented by the Straight Facts Podcast, a series where we count down the top prospects in the upcoming NBA draft and analyze their game. Today, we'll be looking at the number four prospect on my big board, Denny Avdiha. Avdiha is a small forward from Israel who has played professional for three years at Maccabi Tel Aviv. Let's break down this game. First, let's get into his strengths. Starting off, he's already NBA ready. He's a guy that's going to be ready to go day one with long-term upside. He's been playing against very high-level competition since a young age, and you can tell in his game. His basketball IQ is really high, and the rest of his game looks polished. He'll be able to come in and step on an NBA court right away and hold his own. The next strength is shooting. At six foot eight, his ability to hit three-pointers in bulk is a huge plus. Always money on catch and shoot situations, he can also hit it with little space, and has even showed he can hit step-back threes. While he does need to find a little more consistency from outside, I'm buying his shot long term. He shoots it quick and his form is just about picture perfect. The next strength is passing. I hate making the comparison for every single European player, but Avdia does really remind you of Luka Doncic in this category. He has elite core vision and is creative when making the passes to find open guys. He sees stuff his guys that his size just don't normally see, and is great at finding the open three on driving kick situations. Avdia's last strength is versatility. The players' teams will be able to play at the 2 through the 4, and he'll be capable on both sides of the balls in doing so. While I didn't talk about his defense, he's very capable. Another role he could play is the point forward, where I actually think maxes his potential. He can really do everything and is going to be a guy you want on the court wherever you find a spot. Now let's get into his weaknesses. First is his left hand. Not normally do you see a guy projected this high that can't use both hands, but I don't know if Denny can. And if he can, he has to, because he's so right hand dominant, especially when driving to the lane, it's going to get predictable at the NBA level. Especially since he's not an elite athlete, that left hand needs to become way more capable. Another weakness is ball handling. Though he's better than most 6'9 guys you'll see, obviously, like I said before, Denny's going to be the best player he can be in the point forward role. Therefore, he needs to work on his ball handling. He has trouble getting past more athletic defenders and must improve at changing directions and speeds. I've mentioned Luka twice now, but I don't think Denny's Doncic's 2.0. He's a different player, and I think a more fit comparison is like a Danny Granger, but there's another European player that I want to compare him to, and that's Hito Turkoglu. Avdia will play a similar role to Hito's, and it will excel past what Hito can do because of his passing abilities. While his shot isn't as good as Turkoglu's was yet, he's going to get there, and at worst, he's going to be able to contribute what Turkoglu did, and that was a pretty impressive career. To conclude, Denny Avdia is a very interesting prospect because he's not your typical 6'9 small forward. He's an all-around player that can do just about everything needed to be done on the basketball court. This puts his potential through the roof, and with as skilled as the player he already is, I'm buying that potential. But that's all for today's episode of Kyle's Big Board, presented by the Straight Facts Podcast. Let me know what you guys think of Denny of Diha in the comment section down below, and don't forget to tune in next time when I break down the number three player on my big board. I hope everyone is staying safe, staying healthy, and of course, getting buckets. I'll see you guys next time.